everyone, welcome back to the Vegetastic Mum Kitchen. I hope you're all well. Um, thank you all for your um, comments about Evie with her hay fever um, and some suggestions to try. We did actually get some um, local honey, um, so we're trying that one now to see whether, whether that will help us. So again, thank you ever so much for that. Um, so in the video today, I am going to be making some courgette and feta fritters. So let's go take a look at what we need. So for today's video, you're going to want two courgettes, which weighs around 240 grams, and you're going to grate it. Now what I have also done here that you'll need to do for the recipe is get a clean tea towel, put your grated courgette, courgette in it, <laughs> and uh, squeeze any excess water out of your courgettes. Um, so that is what I have got here. 100 grams of peas. Now these are um, defrosted. I got these out about 45 minutes ago um, just to let them defrost slightly before we use them. Two eggs, 65 grams of plain flour. We are going to be using one teaspoon of baking powder. So you're going to need some feta cheese and we're probably going to use about a quarter, just over a quarter of this block. Some fresh mint, we're going to use two tablespoons chopped up finely of fresh mint. Salt and pepper and some spray olive oil. Okay, so everything is, is prepped really, apart from the mint. So as I say, we're going to use about about two tablespoons of fresh mint. It's probably a bit much about that, I think. And we are just going to finely chop the mint. Chop it up as finely as you can. There we go. And then we're just going to pop this to one side just for a moment till we need it. Oh, I love that smell. Fresh mint, you can't beat it. Right. Then we are going to take a bowl. And into the bowl, we're going to crack our two eggs. Just going to whisk those up a bit. Okay, and then into this, we are going to add our flour. Don't need to sieve it, just pop it in. Flour, teaspoon of baking powder, and we're also at this point going to add salt. And pepper and we're just gonna get all this mixed together so you've got a bit of a paste at the bottom of a batter. There we go. Then into our batter we're going to add our courgette. Our peas. <coughs> our two tablespoons of fresh mint. Thank you. 
and around a quarter of that 200 gram block of feta and we're going to crumble this in as well. Make sure you don't have too many large lumps of feta in there. There we go. And then with a spoon, you're going to mix all this up together. Okay, so you've got a nice thick, nice thick mixture there. Okay, then we're going to take this over to the kasori for the next step. Okay, so I've got the kasori basket and I have popped a liner in the bottom. And we're just going to spray some of our olive oil spray onto the bottom of our liner to start with. And then we're going to take our batter and a tablespoon. And we're going to take a tablespoon of filling and we're going to pop it and just gently press it down onto our liner. So you're aiming for these to be no more than a couple of centimetres thick. And they don't need to be perfect round shapes, they are fritters. So any shape is absolutely fine. I'm just going to put three in here to start with. And again, you're going to take your olive oil spray and just spray the top of them. Okay, we're going to pop these into the kasori. So we are going to cook these on 205 for eight minutes on that side. And then we'll come back to them in a moment. Okay, so these have just had their uh, eight minutes on one side. So as you can see, they've goldened up nicely. And when you touch them, your finger shouldn't go through them. They shouldn't still be gooey. So I'll just show you those a little bit better. There we go. So now what we're going to do is turn these over. Now remember they will still be slightly sticky on the other side, but again, they won't be wet on the other side. So I'm just gonna turn these over like so. And we're gonna pop these back in and we are going to do 205 for a further eight minutes. And then we'll come back when these ones are done. Okay, so these have finished now. So take these out and show you. Look at those. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, I'm going to get these on a plate and bring you in for a closer look. Okay, so I've just got these on a plate. So I'd show you what they look like. They really do smell really, really good. Now, while you're here, I'm just going to break one in half just so you can see, oh, they're hot, what the center of them is like. Oh, it smells really good, right. I think we need to get these tasted. 
Okay, so I can't wait to try these. They smell really, really good. There's so many fresh, nice ingredients in there. I think they're gonna be lovely. So let's do a sniff test first. Oh, they smell really, really good. Here we go, they're very hot. Oh, it's really hot. Oh, wow. They are lovely. Really, really good. The feta isn't overpowering, which is nice. Sometimes it, it can be a little bit overpowering in things, but surprisingly, you can really taste the peas um, obviously you've got the mink obviously coming through there as well but the courgette doesn't taste a courgette you can, you can't even taste that there's courgette in this um it's really really good mm. they're lovely really really nice now I haven't actually made these before. I've made something similar, but not these exact ones. Um, I really, really like these. You can store them, cool them, and store them in an airtight container in the fridge for up to three days um, and eat them cold. So obviously I've got quite a bit of batter mix left, so I will make those up after I finish this video and pop them in the fridge and, and have them cold because I'm sure they'd be nice with a salad as well. Um, and even like this, I think for my tea this evening, I'm gonna have these, um, a couple of these, and a nice bit of salad. Um, I think they're really, really nice and quite quick and simple to make. About five, five, 10 minutes prep um, and then 16 minutes to cook them in the air fryer. So I really like these. Please give them a go. If you do, drop me some comments below and let me know what you think. And just another suggestion, you, if you wanted these as a bit more of a healthy snack, you could make up a bit of a yoghurt, mint um, and cucumber dip um, and serve that with those. I think that would be really nice and really bring out the freshness and the flavours. Um, so that's just another idea for you. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I think one of my next ones could possibly be something a bit sweet. Um, it's coming up to Father's Day um, in the UK at the weekend. So um, I will be making some kind of dessert for Father's Day. So uh, keep your eyes open for that one. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care for now. Bye.